Hello, everybody. Here we are again. We have the June 2024 real estate stats for Edmonton. They're in. They've come in hot. It's exciting to see what's there. Jay, how about you tell us a little bit about what happened here in Edmonton in June 2024? Hey, Josh. Hope you're doing well. Let's let's just start right into this inventory number. That's always an indicator that we like to talk about. Inventory has actually rose a little bit again in June 5950. So 5,950 units up a little bit from 5,840 in May. But if we look at the difference between March, significant amount of homes have come on the market here for us. So a little bit of relief for buyers um, and time will tell if this number continues to rise. So what's happening with the sales? So what we're finding is, is we've lost momentum with sales, right? We're at 11.4% down from May. I think that's helping keep some more of these uh, inventory on the market. So if we look at from, uh, you know, this, this change in the numbers were almost just above what March was. So we're definitely seeing a little bit of a slowdown in the number of sales. Rate of change. <clears throat> so here's some price numbers. Um, month over month, we're down 1% on detached. Look at the year though, right? We're up 7.6% um, still. So year over year done well. Semi-detached homes, very little change is 0.1%. Still 9% change year over year. Row houses are down. This is an interesting number, 1.7%, but year over year is still up 15.7. I think part of this is related to maybe um, hard to find. I have some buyers right now looking for townhouse and they're really struggling. So they're just waiting. Apartment condos, 1.6% increase, still up 11.4% year over year. Okay, so like we're seeing the prices are up quite a bit from last year. Um, and then you showed me earlier how the n number of days that properties are on sale has gone down significantly. Maybe there's some correlation or, or connection between those. What do you think? Well, it's interesting if you look at day on market though, like, so the speed or the velocity at which going on here, right? So last year, this time, like the detached homes, um, 29 or sorry, 40 days on market in June of 23 versus 29 uh, days on market, June of 24. Row houses are crazy, right? 25 day on market, 41 a year ago. That's huge. That's like 40% less time. That's massive. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. So <clears throat> the momentum is still there, definitely. And there's some serious velocity there. And I think it's just really picky buyers waiting for the right property. There's a great appetite in Edmonton as well for resale homes. Um, there's a lot of value in resale homes right now. And I think that's also what we're seeing change. So when the right resale home comes on, it sells immediately. Yesterday, I was in two different sets of multiple offers. One single family home in St. Albert had uh, nine offers in on it within, um, it was about a day and a half after listing. Wow. So what yeah. we're, we're seeing is a well-priced home that's desirable is selling quickly. There's lots of interest in it. It's going to go above asking price, um, even though overall the market seems to have mellowed out. Um, things are going quickly, but just not as much is selling as the month before, eh? Right. So resale homes are selling quicker than new construction. And I think the pile up is actually new construction homes on the market more than resale. But what's that doing to our prices, right? So there really hasn't been that much change though. It's interesting, right? Um, down 5,000 for detached homes here in June, right? 495 last month was 500. And we're back between, we're back to uh, April numbers. So we're kind of okay. seeing this come back down. I don't know if we hit the peak for this year or not. We don't know yet. July will tell. So yeah, for sure. And you know, maybe yeah. if interest rates start to come down in the fall, that might kind of spur the market a little bit more into the fall. So it could be a bit of a unique yeah. fall here in 2024. Correct. Yeah. So semi detached homes, 410, no change since May, um, still above April and March's number. So really nothing to talk about in semi detached townhouses are down 5,000 from May to 290,000 back to March numbers that eerily sounds similar to um, the attached or the, the detached the homes detached. that we talked about earlier. Yeah. Same values even. Yeah. Apartments. Um, they're actually up 195 from May of 192. And so this is the one spot in our market that we're still seeing an increase in values, which is super interesting to me. 
Now, of course, what's important to notice here is like, these are all the median sale prices, right? So like half of homes sold for more than this, half for under it in each category, but there's high-end condos, there's low-end condos. And so these are just media numbers and they cover the entire greater Edmonton area. Of course, each area has its own specific um, market almost, right? You mentioned the St. Albert multiple, multiple offers uh, problem that you're running into with uh, one of our sh um, shared clients here. So mm -hmm. there's lots going on in Edmonton. Uh, you got to keep a close eye on it. Always important to have a good, solid realtor watching your back and helping you navigate the complexity. We share a little bit here in the videos, but if you want to know more, make sure you reach out to us. Jay's phone number is at the bottom of the screen. Otherwise, please click on like for the video so more people can see it. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit that bell so you get notified every week when we load up new videos here for you. Thanks so much.